Like, I, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of upset here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get on. Like, it's almost a two-hour queue. Like, look, look, I'll show you. I'm stuck in queue, and... <sighs> this is so stupid, man. We tried to warn you. Should we just transfer? I mean, like... Is S fund around? Let me see what he's thinking about it. Hey, what's up? Uh, well... Nothing. What are you doing? I'm, uh... I'm about to transfer. What about you? That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a really, really good thinking, dude. Uh, but are, are you actually in queue? Uh, no. Yeah, no, yeah I, I figured I'm, you logged in earlier. So, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you, what is your guild thinking, man? Uh, I think most of my people don't want to transfer. They don't want to. Yeah. Because here's the thing, a lot of my guild has just kind of been dealing with it. Don't you worry uh, that, like, if one guild... Because I know, like, I heard whispers of other guilds that wanted to leave, too. Like, what, what happens whenever one guild leaves and then it's, like, a domino effect? Because I'm worried that, like, even if we stay, like, what if part of your guild leaves and, like, power leaves or, or like, vampire clan leaves or something like that? Uh, well, I, I think the majority of my guild is not... Like, like if, yeah. if, if any part of my guild decide they want to leave, it, it's going to be a very small part of that guild. I guess so. so. I mean, like, I'm really kind of using, I was using today as like a, as a test to see what it would be like to play on the server and like stream classic yeah. again. And I didn't even get through step <laughs> one. <laughs> like, I, 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 there's nothing I can do, man. Well, uh, I think for you, like, yeah. if you want to stream classic, you have to do it in the morning. That's what you but have you, to do. Like, you have to start it at the, at the early morning. Yeah, like I, uh, it kind of sucks for me because I usually start like. Yeah, you're an even. Time. Yeah, so I started like three, and then what ends up happening is, by the time I wake up, there's already a queue. Yeah. So, I I, I don't know. Like I, I don't know what I'm like. It, it just kind of sucks. So but. does ZG uh, reset tomorrow? It resets tomorrow, right? Yeah, there's two ZGs. So Fuck, we're gonna have dude. one today. So if I don't do it tomorrow. tonight, I miss two ZGs. Yeah, basically. And then the dragons oh are going to spawn today. Yeah, Sometimes it's like three hours from now, right? We don't even know. Well, we don't know. We think. Yeah, people think there's so, three hours from now. Yeah, just because of the, the first world dragon spawns. Fuck, man. Like, this is... I don't know. Like, it, it's... This is this is an idea... Yeah? ...that uh, I, I proposed last night. And it's maybe not transferring... But yeah, going to one of the uh, what is is it Windseeker the PVE server? Um, I think Windseeker was the PVE transfer server. So, what if we did? What if we re-leveled fresh on Windseeker and leveled alts on Windseeker as a low population PVE server? That way, we'd have an option of somewhere we could go just to play the game. I like that, except for the fact that it's low pop. Like, I worried that if I play on a low pop server, like, I went onto one server, and the amount of people, like, I, I slash shoot 60, and it was, like, 16 people online. Yeah, but... That's what I'm worried about. That's just... I mean, we just... It, it doesn't matter, right? Like, because we're not going to do anything... Like, it's a PvE server. We're just kind of going to do our thing. All the battlegrounds and stuff are in... Yeah. on battle groups anyway. People will follow. Just... Like, yeah, people are saying that they'd follow. I don't know. Like, I'd rather go to, like, a mid-size or, like, larger PvE server. But I really just want to go to a server that doesn't have queues. Like, that's all it really comes down to is I don't want yeah. to go. Like, I would rather be on a server that I could log on to than on a PvE server. Right. Like, playing playing with the queues. Because it's like you have to schedule your whole fucking day around this. Yeah, it's Like, it's do, really do, you, do you have the app on your phone where you can remote desktop? Yeah, I have yeah, like I have uh, it too. I just I literally like, like I, I wake up remote desktop from my from my bed and I just get back to sleep. Yeah, yeah, it's like all right, I've got two hours to sleep then. That's great. It, it's just uh, so fucking insane, man. Like Q follows yeah. you. Yeah, that's the thing is like, I worried that like if we all transfer though, like would that create a queue on that server instead? I don't think that it would because we'd only have really one faction transferring because Horde wouldn't want to transfer to follow us because they can't. It's yeah. not like there, there's no reward on a PVE server for doing that. So, so if we did this, now is the time with ZG coming out because ZG is 20-man catch-up content. Yeah. Like, now is, like, it's such a good time to play Classic, right? 
So if we level and we just now hit 60, yeah. then we have ZG and stuff that we can do that we can actually gear up and it'll help us get it's the also, other stuff done. It's like a lot of other things. Like if I play on the server, there's like a 0% chance of getting world boss loot, right? I mean, like realistically. And yeah. unless you're like online all the time, and now like I have to plan to be online. So it's not like I can just get a Discord DM or a phone call from somebody and like, oh yeah, Azergos is up, I can just log on. So I have to like plan everything out like that. Right. It's like the thing so, is so there's there's some things different. Uh, I was just gonna say there's some things different about playing on a PVE server. Yeah. But it's not as much as people think. And if, if we're just kind of doing our own thing and playing the game and doing the content and minding our own business, it kind of doesn't matter. No for, it, for what we do. It doesn't. I mean like PVE servers like there were some really good PVE content, PvP content that we had, but I feel like almost all of the PvP content now is like it's forced because people aren't out in the world naturally that are interested in, in doing PvP. So the only people yeah. that are doing it are like usually doing it to like intercept you or like show up on your stream or something weird like that. And yes, go ahead. And it's like, yeah, people are saying like people steal your mob tags. Like that could happen in PvE servers too. I don't know. Like the thing is with me, man, is the reason why this is a hard decision is I made this decision in Wrath and I left and I joined another server and I ended up like hating it because I left all my friends on the original server that I, you know, was, you know, quote, born on, right? My character was born right. on. And so- well, And that's why we would level instead of transfer. Because I, I think transferring is, is it, here's the thing, the, the permanence of transferring from a PVP server to a PVE yeah, server you can't is go the back. scariest part. Uh, so if we re-level on a PVE, and on top of that, it's content. It's it's stuff for us to do. Like, I don't it'd be know. huge. Like we can get a bunch of people on level together. Yeah, I mean, I would enjoy doing that. I, the only thing that I'd worry about is like people that like will follow you around and stuff. I'd like to be able to do it kind of in peace. I think if I level another character up on Classic, I've actually thought about it a lot. I wanted to level either a mage or a hunter and I want to do it, but I also don't want to have it like kind of tainted by, you know, having to j take all these precautions because I'm streaming. Yeah. So. Well, in PVE, it might not be that big of a deal. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that it would be, but I could very easily see people, like if I was a, a mage, people trying to mess up my AOE pulls or something like that. I don't know, yeah. like it's, it's something that I think about it a lot because I do really enjoy like leveling in the game. It's like the best part of the game in my opinion. And I don't know, I think it'd be fun because there's no so way you can level we, on a PvP server. If we look at this, uh, like when we look at the servers, you're, you're on Iron Fridge, bro? Yeah, I'm about to load it up. Okay. So if we look at Ironforge.pro. Yeah. And we go to demographics, America. Well, let's go last two weeks. If we find a low pop, the lowest pop PVE server is Azur Song. It's already Majority Alliance. Look uh, at Skyrim. And Stalag. Oh, oh Skyrim died. Skyrim was huge and uh, all the oh alliance transferred off. Oh my god, dude. 98.8%. Yeah. yeah. Oh I mean, this is the problem, right? God, with like, if, with population imbalance, it, it'll just They should have locked it at 60-40, man. Mm -hmm. Like, that was such a mistake. But it is what it is. Uh, Heartseeker, same thing. Yeah, like a lot of these servers... Uh, Azur Song is yeah, fifteen hundred players. I don't know, man. Yeah, I think I, I think Windseeker would not be a bad option. Azur Song would not be a bad option. I mean, when, here's the thing: if we go to Windseeker, Windseeker is a server that uh, has better population balance than Azur Song, and it's also the server that has available transfers from Fairlina. So. If there is anyone on Fairlina who doesn't want to play on Fairlina anymore, yeah. they could free transfer to Windseeker. We could re-level on Windseeker. That's something. That's something we could do. We could have fun, and maybe there's like some things that we have to like have like precaution and like take some precautionary measures or whatever. But uh, I don't think it'd be that bad on a PVE server, and uh, I think it'll be cool. I, I would really like to go on an RP server, like if we went like Bloodsail Buccaneers yeah. or something. The, but, I, uh, I like Deviant Delight. Oh, that's PvP. Well, Deviant Delight's PvP. I just yeah. like the name. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Look at Thalanos, dude. 
Yeah, it's all that. Oh my mess. god. Look at that. Ninety-nine point eight percent. Yeah. Now what if we were to fuck? do transfers, yeah. If we were to mass transfer to a server, Thalnos would be the ma server that we mass transfer to, right? Because there's it's it's a really bad population balance, but it's, it's so PvP, small that So I, I wouldn't well, want to do that. Yeah, exactly. Because like I if I was gonna go to a PvE server, I'd want to go to it because it's a PvE server. So it's like the, the, the all that doesn't matter. Like if I'm leveling a character, I can't level a character as PVE no matter or PvP no matter how many people are on the other faction. As long as there's one, uh, you know that's gonna happen. And it's like also I would want to transfer like maybe man what about Manric? This is a PVE server that's imbalanced towards Horde. So if we had a lot of people transfer over there and make characters over there, it would rebalance it, and then that would make opening the AQ gates because the one thing that I worry about is uh with the aq gates i don't want to miss week one gate opening you know what i mean or week two gate opening yeah well that's another thing i don't know how we're going to handle it on this server like uh are we going to want to open as fast as possible are we going to hold it for a week or two to for people to get their mounts i would want to hold it i i whenever uh, we did um yeah I'd want whenever to. we did it on on uh elysium we did a. Uh, we, we, we had it to mm -hmm. where we held it for like four or five weeks and like all the big, big yeah. guilds just held all their mats and there was like 20 mounts or something it was a ridiculous amount of mounts that'd be awesome like I, i'd love to get a mount uh, i think there's plenty of people in your guild that would want to too but it just has to you know everybody has to be on the same page with that i, I feel like on ferolino like that could probably happen uh, i don't know any guilds that are like really really like against that <sighs> it just yeah. I don't know the the situation sucks because I want to be able to play the game sometimes, and it's just like now I have to like schedule time for it, and it's just weird. Yeah. We could go. I think realistically the best option yeah. is Wind Seeker or Bloodsail Buccaneers, and Wind Seeker also it's it's a little bit smaller. If we go to something like Mancrick, I yeah. think that's not that much smaller than Feralina. And so you just worry that that server will have queues too. I think it'll eventually have queues too, if we went to Mancrick. It's Mancrick. Oh wait, what the? I called it Mancrick until like a week ago. I called it Manric until f now. It, yeah. Wow. Well, they're horrid. They they barely even speak English. They're, they're damn. Horrible. Okay. Yeah. Uh. uh I don't know, man. I think I'm going to maybe talk to some of the other guys and the other GMs and see what they're thinking about doing. Because, like, the last thing that I want to have happen is, like, a mass exodus from Feralina, and then we're stuck there. Like, that's the yeah. last well, thing that I want to have happen. Well, and, and that's that's why I think just re-leveling. Because that way we still have our Feralina guys. Okay. And on, and on Windseeker, if anybody does want to transfer it, then they can just easily transfer if they don't want to re-level. Yeah. And I I also think that'll help Feralina queues a little bit if there's enough people that want to transfer. Yeah. And that way, I, I yeah, we can talk about this more like another time. Yeah, I want, could like debate like, everybody I, over to our server and make them stop playing on Feralina and then just go back to Feralina. Yeah, we <laughs> could do that. We yeah, that we could, we go, we, Oh, you know what would be really good? If we told everyone we're going on Thalnos. Oh, jeez, dude. That, yeah, that'd let's be tell such everyone a great we're going time. on Thalnos. And this is how we'll do it. You yeah. You transfer your warlock to Thalnos and just throw him away. It's fine, right? He's completely shameless anyway, so it doesn't matter. You'll just do another one. What? So yeah, it's true. You throw away your warlock. Yeah, throw away your warlock, and then everyone's like, "Oh, he's doing it." And then they're gonna, "Oh, you say the first just bait ten him, bait him off the edge." Me. Yeah. So yeah. you're log in, and you're like, "We're mass recruiting for Olympus like ninety or whatever number this is." Yeah. And then they all transfer over, join your guild, and then you never play on that server, and then boom, Q saved. That's what I thought I'd do with Classic in general, but apparently it didn't work. <laughs> like, I, I, th I tried doing it on Feralina, and it's just... Oh, man. Like, I don't know. Like, our, so White Main is the biggest server. Do you have any idea what the queues are like on White Main? They're, they're all... Uh, White Main, Incendius, and... Uh, someone says five worst. or six hours. Well, yeah, that White is, is ridiculous. Worse. Yeah. So you know what's funny? I heard Herod is surprisingly not that bad. I think a lot of people play Herod just like Red Log. Uh, yeah. I mean, like that—that's what a lot of people in general do. But I mean, I'd assume like on on like Tuesdays, it, probably the queues start on something like White Main at like what one p.m. 
like noon or something like that uh yeah just about and our like our time it starts between like 1 and 2 p.m i feel so like I'm sure some of it be the same some of it is like coronavirus and i think a lot of it is also just people like congregating around like a few servers because you have like all these other dead servers that have like 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 people on it. There's a lot of servers here that don't have a lot of people. And then you just yeah. have a few servers that are like at 10K. And it's because like, I think because the server you play on matters, people play want to play on a server with a lot of people. So they have like the most options for things. Yeah. What do you think about this whole uh, layering proposal? I think they should do layering. I, I, I think, think they should add they back layering. It, this is my problem with it. Mm -hmm. They, I think Blizzard just like doesn't learn from anything they do, whether it's good yeah. or bad. I don't know what it is, but layering has, them putting in layering at the beginning of the game and not managing it after the fact has not, like, like if you put layering back in, everybody knows all about the layering abuse and how to do it and all this stuff. So right now you have mm -hmm. like, Let's say three layers were the people, like on Fairlina is 9,500 people. Well, they were going to have so, two, but let's say two layers. Well, uh, I'm saying like we have that many people. Like we oh, have three okay. layers worth of people well, if a layer is well, like Blizzard 3, said right? in the blue post that they would only do one layer or like one well, extra layer. I'm making, I'm making a separate point. Okay, I'm go ahead. A go ahead. So we currently play on one layer and yeah. with the one layer that we play on, we're now ha we now have three layers worth of demand with one layer worth of supply. And then you have this whole issue of like everybody who did layer abuse or whatever method to form a bunch of mats yeah. early on, they're hoarding the mats and they're trickling them into the economy. And that's why like the, the price of everything is ridiculous. I think somebody said Black Lotus is 250 gold now. Well, I, I think that the much simpler explanation for Black Lotus being extremely expensive, yes, I paid 250 gold for a flask. Um, and I the reason for that is that you have such a massive population that's going after resources that were designed and engineered for 2,000 people, but there's 9,500 people on the server. So because yeah, with higher that, demand, that's exactly my point. there's going to be higher prices. So, so that's my point. But I, what I'm saying is also because of the early layering, like they're not just like dumping all the mats in because if they dump all the mats in, it'll even out, right? Uh, I don't so, really think so, so. People are going to hoard mats. I, I don't they're think they're going to hoard mats again, and then it's going to be the same problem is my point. Because then they're just going to hold on to everything and they're going to slowly release it again as opposed to like just dumping everything back in. Um, it depends on how long it's going to happen. But I do think that the problem of hoarding mats is less than the problem of people not being able to play the game and the game being overpopulated. So I don't think layering is a good solution at all. But I think that the idea of hoarding mats and, you know, basically allowing them into the economy, like parsing them out after layering goes away and allowing those people to make more money is not as bad as a huge portion of the player base not being able to play the game and that's true it, it's like i don't think layering is good like it, it's not good well i i agree my point is i think if they do it they need to do something that they mm -hmm. haven't done yet and that's adjust the spawn rates of like thorium veins black lotus they, they need to do something about it because it's, I agree it doesn't with spawn you. enough for the amount of people. Well, the that's, thing is that's, that, that's the end point based on what they've done so far. What I, I completely agree with what you're saying. And the reason for that is that it actually, that makes it closer to no changes than not changing anything. Right. Because if you change the population, well, uh, yeah, no, you're no changing changes dead, the availability right? of these items. Right. Like the, like the whole no changes thing like was dead on launch because they did a ton of things different yeah. than the actual game anyway. Right. So stuff like layering and, and like you said it's it's not it's not congruent with how it was before so it's mm -hmm. less no changes now than it would have been if they just scaled it so yeah it, it doesn't make any sense it's dumb i think that they should modify the either they should either modify spawns i don't know what happens like i'm not a server engineer i don't know what happens if they just let two thousand extra people on the server does the server explode uh does it crash is it really laggy i have no idea but what i do know is that a lot of people that are not able to log on to the game and sit in queue the entire time is not a good experience for them. And while layering does create some problems, I think that the problems that it solves are more important and more relevant and pressing than the problems that it creates. Uh, like having lower prices for, let's say, Black Lotus or something like that, especially in an economy that's artificially inflated because of a higher population, is, for one, in my opinion, not even a problem. And on top of that, not a big problem. 
And that that's why I think that it should change. Like, I, I don't like layering. I don't think that's good for the game. Yeah, but neither are Qs. Like, not playing the game is worse than, like, playing the game and having problems. So. Yeah. Uh, it, it's like, I think Blizzard should try to figure out, like, how to incentivize people to go over to other servers. But the issue with that is that because it's classic and because people want to have, like, such a specific experience, you can't have, like, okay, well, you can level on the server with, like, a double experience or something like that. Or, uh, you know, if you transfer over here, you get an epic mount or some kind of weird bullshit as, like, an incentivization. So yeah, I don't know. They, um, they can't do that. So they have such little tools to incentivize people not to just play on big servers. But yeah, I I think that they should do layering again. Uh, it's like th there are like weird things like world bosses, etc. But I don't think that should stop them from fixing the problem because I think it's going to cause a lot of people to just lose interest in the game over time, especially because like with launch. I think everybody had the ex expectation that it was going to go away as time went on, and that's what happened. But with this, for example, there's not an expectation that it will go away. It's just uh, there with the cues. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see... I'm just kind of like brainstorming like in my head right now like yeah. the different things, but like uh, at the end of the day, Blizzard can do whatever they want, but I think we've we've done the classic thing long enough to know that they they just need to make sure it's good. They just just make it good. Right now is kind of the yeah. the the hot period of content for classic because ZG just came out, so any any new players can get into something to catch up and do the end game rating. Yeah, people get BWO. to do the first half of the end game. Yeah, and and all the content is coming in the next six months. Like we're probably getting next. I would you guess think it's going to be in right six months. BlizzCon. I think it's going to be right after BlizzCon. Uh, that would be months. awesome. Like I, I'd love yeah. to see next. Uh, yeah. I, I hope that they they make sure that you know whenever they release it and everything, it's not like super fast because like Blizzard did this with like on live all the time where they release a raid too fast and like most people aren't done with the previous raid. Yeah, and and in classic, there's that's not going to be an issue at all. In classic, the problem is you're getting too many lockouts yeah. of the previous raid, so then people are getting like just way too geared to go into the next raid, and then it makes the next raid even easier again too. And mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's already like you know we all, we all know, right? Yeah, but. Uh, it, it's still like they, they just need to make sure to do it right i, I think that aq40 is probably going to come out mid early summer and uh max is probably coming out right after blizzcon well i, I think i think what's going to happen at blizzcon yeah. is we're going to get a burning crusade announcement absolutely and 100%. and an axe announcement that's what's going to happen burning say, hey, crusade we're and dropping max. Max. yeah we're dropping axe in a week or two and then also this summer burning crusade is coming that's what i think is going to happen at blizzcon uh, I, I would love to see that, honestly. Like, I think that they just need to do something to, like, I don't know, like, but I worry that Burning Crusade will, like, de demotivate people to do Classic. So I hope that the period between BC and, uh, like, Nax and BC is larger than it was in Vanilla WoW. Because you remember, like, nobody really wanted to do Nax back then. And, like, that's why a lot of people just, like, opted well, into not doing it. I think a lot of people just, like, couldn't do it for whatever reason. Uh, like, just, like, everybody, everybody was bad. Like, <laughs> I, I think there's part of that, but um, yeah. like from what I've heard from people that raided back then, is that a lot of their guilds just like opted in to not do that because of the effort involved, versus just getting the same gear from TBC quest rewards. I think that's really what it is. But I don't know. I, I'm gonna think about this. I'll figure out something, and you know, I'll, I'll let you know. Like I've just got to sit down and decide what I want to do, and then also I've got to talk to my guild because like I don't know what their plans are or what they want to do either. Uh, I know, like, after yesterday, a lot of them were kind of, you know, demotivated. Yeah, I I really don't know how it's going to go. But, yeah, we, I mean, we can talk about more, like, off-stream or something. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good, man. Well, anyway, uh, enjoy I ZG. I will try. <laughs> All right, man, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right, dude. See you.